Okay, y'all, it's truth time. How many of you, and I know I'm talking to you, how many of you have found the cutest little craft? You said, this will not take hardly anything to make. All I need is a bunch of what? Everybody has them. You just don't want them to throw them away. Think about it. You've asked your friends, your family members, please save these so I can make this craft. Go down in the comments. Prove to me you have done that. You are a true crafter because you have asked people for the craziest things. I'm Vonda. I'm with Crafting with Scripture. And today our craft is making things with toilet paper rolls. Everybody has them. Everybody uses them, whether or not they want to admit it or not. Don't throw them away. We've got a craft for you. Okay, so you're going to need 25 of the toilet paper rolls. Now, if you don't have that, you can use paper towel hold rolls and you won't need as many, but I didn't want to have to mash it to cut them in half. So the toilet paper rolls are so much better to use that way. The first thing that we're going to do is just put a thin coat of paint all around and we're just wanting to get rid of that brown color this honestly is some uh it's apple barrel but it is really old and i have been meaning to throw it away because it's really it, it just doesn't go on any you know how sometimes it just gets too thick and i didn't want to have to add water every time so this is just going to go on every one of them. It's not gonna be beautiful. It's gonna show through. I don't really care. I just don't want it to be all brown. So you can see, I did a pretty cruddy job, but I did it on purpose because I don't care. So next, and this dries very, very fast. So you, by the time you get through doing this, to 25 of these, the first ones are going to be dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Mod Podge and, well, let's back up just a second so we can be right here. We're gonna grab a napkin first. This is a napkin that came from the Dollar Tree and it was only a dollar. Now, they're pretty easy. If you get them from the Dollar Tree, they're pretty easy to come apart right at the very beginning. So you can pull it. I say that and then it went together. And you can pull them apart rather easily. But if you don't have one that is this easy, or if it just does this when you're on the camera, the best thing to do that I have learned is to take just a little bit of tape, tape it on both sides, little bit on this side, and it's going to pull apart. So we're going to use just one ply, and we're going to cut this into four sections. Now it doesn't have to be beautiful, it doesn't have to be exact, so I'm just going to tear it along the edge. Because it's my craft, I'll do what I want to, right? Okay, so we're tearing them in half, and we're going to grab one of these. We're going to put Mod Podge on what we just got through painting. And we're going to be very generous with our Mod Podge. We're always generous, but we are not to do it with Mod Podge today. Okay, so we've got it all the way around. We're going to lay it down on our paper and we're just going to roll it. Roll it on our napkin. When we get to this edge, a little bit more and we're just covering the paper. We can tear off what we don't want because it's not really gonna matter anyway. We're gonna go in and put just a little bit 
on the inside. Shove it in there. Lay it down really good. And do it on the other side. Now, you're going to have an assembly line going because once you get this done, you're going to put it over there. By the time you get through with your uh, number 25 roll, this is going to be dry. So we're going to take six of our rolls, like so. Let me put the Mod Podge up before I ended up with it on my fingers. And we're going to get out a hot glue gun. Now, if you can tell where it's darker right here, then put a helping of hot glue and glue it to the other side that looks like that. I find it's better if you lay it on the table, put it like so, or you know that they're even, and lay it down. And we're going to do this to six of them. If the glue kind of oozes out, we don't really care. This is just the I don't care kind of craft, but it turned out really cute. So I want to make sure that you know that it's just, it's, it's not rocket science, it's yacht science, y'all. It's just glue some stuff on here and they just turn out so cute. Now, I did see this in Pinterest, I've got to tell you that. I did see this in Pinterest so when I got it home and started doing it, I had to tweak it. Tweak it. God, I got white paint on me. I had to tweak it a few times. So you watch this and you won't have to tweak it. We did six. Now we're going to do five. I hope everybody is in the Christmas mood by now, we're through with Thanksgiving. I always wait until after Thanksgiving before I put up my tree. So, I probably will end up doing that tonight or at least start pulling out Christmas stuff. But my family is always like, we haven't even done Thanksgiving yet. Why do you have Christmas? And I honestly have a huge load of Christmas Santa Clauses. Okay, we're going to let that stay there, and we're going to do four. Just the same. So tell me, are y'all ready for Christmas? Have you already started? When do you normally put your tree up? All these years, I've always done live Christmas trees. That was my thing when I was little, was going and picking out the Christmas tree. But to be honest, last year it wasn't near as much fun to put everything up. So I kind of feel like I'm going to do a fake tree this year. Okay, we're going to do three. So we're going one smaller each time. I'm sure you figured that out by now. So when you do a live tree, you know, there's always that fear of it drying out and catching on fire. So we always waited until like two weeks before Christmas. So that was another reason that I didn't get my Christmas stuff out. But this year's different. This year, we're doing Christmas early. We're gonna start to cool off. If you're looking for something to do for Christmas or something to buy for someone for Christmas. We're going to have a video here pretty soon that's going to give you some ideas on what to get your crafter for Christmas. Hold on just a second. So keep an eye out for my next video. Okay, so normally we would have it like this with four left over. We went six, five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're going to glue them on there just like that. So we're gonna take number five, we've got one that has number six on it, and we're just gonna go across like this. 
and I did let my glue gun get too cold. So we're gonna put it on here, pop that thing in there, put this one on top, and they're going to lay in between, in between each one. Just hold it for a second, it's hot glue, it's not gonna take long at all to cool off. Now we're gonna go with number four. In between, give yourself a little bit of space on each side so you don't glue this green, but if you do, it's not gonna hurt anything. I told you this was an easy one. I'm just gonna get my glue gun a minute. Let's do some more here. If you're looking for a glue gun, let me suggest this one. It is, uh, you set it on a little deal to keep it warm. I'll show you here in just a second. Wonderful, I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Okay, number two. And number one, we're gonna do on that side that it collected them where it all came together. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit and just hold for just a second. You'll see what we've got. Got a little bird's nest going here now. Okay, so now we have these four left over and we're going to glue four together. I like to glue them where their ends are together so it's not going to be that noticeable. <clears throat> These go together like that, so you've got two. <clears throat> and now, we're just going to glue the two pairs together. So we've got glue here, put it right on top. There we go. Now, by this time, our house is, or our tree is cool. So we're going to glue these four onto the two middle ones. And just put them together like so. So we've got a tree going on now. Hmm. I keep looking at that white paint, I'm so sorry. All right, so we're going to let that set a minute. Remember I told you to mash them down because sometimes they, um, they're they not as tall as other ones. So we want them to all kind of be flush. So when we turn it over here, it's all gonna be flush and pretty. So we're gonna turn it over this way. Now, the next thing we need is a bottom. We're going to be putting candy inside here. If you haven't figured this out, it's an advent calendar. So we're going to be putting that down. The easiest thing to do is to use a poster board. So we're gonna lay the poster board down and we're going to just draw around it. The closer you can get, the better it is but don't mess up and, and bend. You know, the, it's gonna tend to bend when you go around it. So just go a little bit at a time. And go completely around and make your cut lines. Okay, so next I'm going to get some scissors and I'm gonna cut this off, get rid of this jacket and I'll be right back. Okay, so I started gluing before I realized that I was about out of hot glue. So what I did is put this back on here and we're going to glue a little bit at a time. I started here, I've already got these three done. One thing I did wanna to mention to you is when I cut it out, I cut two small here and two small here. 
but that is not going to be a problem. We're going to fix that once we get this down. So when it happens, and it's going to, it, it just moves too much when you try to uh, outline it. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be all right in the end. So we're gonna go along like I, like I was saying before, we're going to go around each one of these circles and we need to move rather quickly because you know how hot glue dries pretty quick. So we're gonna be very careful, lay it down, let it sit for just a second, and we're gonna pick it back up. When I did this the first time, I, um, I just put glue all over the mat. And that worked fine, I had no problem with that. But the only, there, I say I had no problem. The problem with that was that it, I just had to sit for like a day for this glue to, to dry. So we don't wanna do that again. So as long as we've just got it coated really good on the outside of the toilet paper rolls up here at the very top, then we're going to be okay. And if it dribbles, it's gonna dribble. We're gonna be all right with that too. Uh, it's not, honestly, no one's gonna see the inside of this. So it'll be okay. On the other one that I made, let me tell you, I learned doing these videos that you need to do it yourself first before you try it on camera. And I say that because there was the cutest little gnomes, and y'all know I love gnomes. I love them because you can give them so much personality, you just change them around and they're so stinking cute. And the, um, you may have seen this. I hope I'm not talking ugly about the lady. Um, and I don't mean to. Um, I doubt very seriously you saw the one that I did because there were several of them that were made. But when she got ready to make the leaves for the beard, she showed you getting it out and she showed you when it was finished but she did not show you what a pain in the butt getting those leaves were. We worked and we worked and we worked and finally got to where they looked like they were supposed to. And in all honesty, I think that's what she did too, is she just said, ooh, finally I got it, let's take a picture of it <laughs> because it was hard. So I made up my mind at that point I was not going to do you that way. If it doesn't work for me, it's not gonna work for you either. It's not going to look perfect. It's not gonna, it's not gonna all come together. So I've, <laughs> I did make another one of these and it's not as pretty as I had planned, but you know what, I don't, kids are gonna want the candy and we're gonna get a lesson out of this. Okay, so now we're going to very slowly, let's try to go along the edges of the poster board where it's too small, where I cut it short, like right here. We're gonna let that dry because what we're going to do is we're gonna just kind of build a little, little wall across there. There's a little spot right there, which I'm just gonna fill in there. It's not going to be where it shows. This is the back. So let's see how I'm just kind of building it up right there. And I'm just gonna let it sit until it dries. Go across here. I did much worse than I thought I did. But we're just gonna build a bridge here. Now, I'm gonna let this dry 
so that you don't have to watch it dry. I'm gonna come back here in just a second and show you what I did. Okay, this has taken probably about 10 minutes, but I wanted you to see the worst one that I did, and it was this one that I cut off too small. So as you can see, I've done a string of glue, let that dry, go back, did another string of glue, let that dry, and I'm going to do another string of glue. Now what I'm doing is just letting it build up on that very last one that I did. We will fix this in a little while as soon as everything is completely dry. I don't want to touch it right now. This is kind of built up a little bit on the edge. I don't know if you can see. See that edge of glue? Yeah, well, that's what happens when you don't cut it just as wide. If you have another idea, you do it. You do you. This was the easiest thing for me because what I did was made it bigger. I made this, the cardboard bigger, but then when I turned it over to put some glue around it, it gave it an edge. I'll show you the one I'm talking about. It gave it kind of an edge, and I really didn't like that edge, especially like right in here. You can see that. That's glue right there. I mean, that's the board under it, but that was as close as I could get without cutting the, the glue. But this just seemed to be easier for me. It's had enough time, even that last one. So we're gonna turn it over. We've got strings everywhere. It's okay, we'll just wipe those off before we get going good. Next is the best part. Next is to putting the candy in there. I have um, three little ones to put candy in for. So I'm just going to put random candies in here. I uh, will just pick one and throw it in there. I don't like to have things close, but it did because it's three. It did take quite a bit of candy. So let's do some up here. Can you see? I don't want the same candy, so I'm going to just kind of put three of those. It also is big enough that you can put three Kit Kats, three little things of M&Ms. Fits right in there. They're bigger than you thought. See, I put three of these Kit Kats. Put them together and just stuck them in there. Look at that, and it even has enough room. Now I'm gonna do a few M&Ms. And they take a little bit more work. Um, I did some little Snickers. They were a little too tall, but this little guy here can't have peanuts. Uh, so we couldn't do Snickers. But we're going to just put them in here, and we're going to continue to do that until we fill up all 25 things. While we're doing that, let's think of something that you can do to teach them about Christmas while we're doing this. Because every day we're going to open up one of these. I'll be showing you that here in a second. But we want every day to be a lesson. Because in Proverbs 22, 6, start children off on the way they should go. And even though they are old, they will not return from it. And this is the NIV version. We want our children to think about other people instead of just us all the time. While we're counting down, we want to be thinking about how this is not counting down to Santa Claus. This is counting down to Christmas. So what is it that we need to be talking about with Christmas? What you might want to do is every day when they open it up, think of somebody that you could do something for. Maybe you could cook something and take somebody, maybe an elderly lady, some, uh, some cookies that you made 
um, maybe you could um, maybe you could just send a note to somebody that you haven't seen in a long time or someone that you love. Make thank, make Christmas be more about being thankful for what we're what we have, what we can do for other people, more than being thankful for getting candy or for getting uh, presents for Santa Claus bringing presents. Now, if you don't, if you know our family, my husband looks like Santa Claus. He loves Santa Claus. And we go around to different schools and give out Christmas toys. And it's a lot of fun. But it was because we all believe in giving back. I believe in giving back. My husband believes in giving back. And that's one thing that we both tried to install in our children, instill in our children, is that Christmas is not about what am I gonna get, but what is about the big gift? The big gift is Jesus Christ. Jesus gave his life for us so that we could have salvation. So we want to make sure that they know what Christmas is all about. And so there you go. I think I've got every one of them. Every one of them is filled up. Everyone is ready to go. Somehow I got a lot more candy left over than I had figured, but that's a good thing. So next we're going to cover it. Now, remember those napkins that we just tore off. This is our next job, but this time we're going to use Mod Podge because the hot glue is gonna to be too much for the napkins, but it's just gonna be just right for the tops of these. So we're going to go along the top, be real careful, we don't wanna glue our candy. So we're gonna do like this and just dot it on top because that will be plenty. And we're gonna try to kind of figure how this is gonna lay. If it does not cover all, that's okay. We're just gonna lay it on top like so. Gently pat it like that. Now there's one of those that I was telling you about that's a little bit too small, too short. On the other side, I had one that was the same way, but that's okay, it was just shorter, but it won't make a difference once we get this all on here. Now we're going to take more napkins and we're going to, I really don't want to cover it as much as to double up on it. So I will at some point, but that's okay. We're just gonna try to get this covered. So just look at where we did, uh-oh, and just go around like so. Very easy, and while you're, e while you're doing this, let me recommend something that I do while I'm making my children's presents. Pray for them. Pray for your children. Pray that whatever they're going through right now won't last long. Pray that they have someone who helps them to learn what everything is about, what Christmas is about. You're going to do that, but they're also going to need maybe a pastor that can also reiterate what you say. Make it all about what they need to learn. Because the Bible said, remember, we grow them up like where they're supposed to go and they're not gonna depart from it. If they have a giving heart, they're gonna keep that giving heart. And they have to know giving is just an awesome, awesome feeling. When you give to someone, don't you feel better? You've learned that, haven't you? 
This one is that one that was down kind of low too. We're just gonna go across here. We're not gonna put glue on our candy. When I did this the first time, <laughs> this is y'all, this is a lesson y'all on what not to do, I guess. When I did it the first time, I let this lay over quite a lot. And uh, then I just kind of laid it down. But when I got, and I thought it looked good until I got it out in the sun. And I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? That looked terrible. So, I'm not going to do that this time. I have learned. And if you just got a little piece, just put a little piece on there. There's a little spot right there that I didn't get. So we're just gonna lay some glue on top of it and lay it down. Okay. What the problem that I had when I let it ease over the sides was even though it uh, this dries clear, there's spots where it overlapped and it really, to me, looked really bad. So um, the top is not going to matter if you lap it over or not. You probably could get a big sheet of maybe some thin wrapping paper or something. Probably that, um, big sheets that you put in the bags. That would be so much easier than what I had, but I'm using what I got. And uh, I already had this from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna let this dry. While we're letting this dry, we're going to cut circles. Now, I used my Cricut to make circles. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is cut out circles. I got, um, Oh, I wonder what I did with it. I got some paper. It was little bit cardstock that already had the sticky on the back. Here it is. This is what I got. And um, it's adhesive cardstock. I, I honestly didn't even know I had this. I was looking for some different colors and just happened on this. I've probably got it on sale and that's probably how I ended up with it. It was <laughs> marked down, but this is some good stuff. I cut it out and you're only going to need to make circles that are one and a half inches across. That's how big this is, is one and a half inches. It's a teeny tiny itsy bitsy little bit smaller then one and a half, but one and a half is what you need to shoot for. Now, what I'm gonna do on this, I'm going to let it sit right here and I'm gonna let it dry. I'm also going to do some stencils that have one through 25 on them. Now, when I made mine, I also cut them out of white cardstock that I used with my silhouette. Um, honestly, that was a pain in the butt. I it would have been so much easier had I just got stencils or had I just found some stickers. So I'm sure at the Dollar Tree, there are enough stickers that are one through 25 that you can just put on there. Um, by the time I had cut them out and realized, sometimes they don't cut as clean. And so I had to go in with an X-Acto knife and kind of clean it up. But I think it probably would have been easier if I'd have just found some already cut out uh, one through 25 stickers and just glue those on. So next, we're just gonna let it sit here. I'm gonna wait until this glue right here that's white that I can see, I'm gonna wait until it is completely dry before I touch anything else. So let's just hold on and let's see what's gonna happen next. Okay, so we're back with our finishing touches. We've got everything dried and ready to go. We've got our stickers, um, and we're going to just cut them out, like I say, one through 25, and we're going to place them right in the very middle of each little, pa each little toilet paper ring. Now, 
what they're going to do is when it's that day to pick that one thing, they're going to be able to just mash it with their finger and push it through. So it's going to be easy on them to get the candy. So we're going to go one through 25. I was very excited about the self-adhesive <laughs> card stock because that really did save me a lot of time and effort to get it done. So, what I did on there also is I got the little fun size candies. So you might want to, when you're looking at what to do, I didn't honestly, I didn't want to do candy. I wanted to do like little prizes or stuff like that, but they were very hard to come by. I went to several different stores to find little, little things. If you don't have to do for so many children, I had three that I had to do three times. So I've lost number 14. We'll find him though. Okay, I'm so sorry. I got a telephone call that just knocked me off. It said that I was, it was off, but it sure wasn't. It answered, it called me. So sorry about that, y'all. And I did find my 14 while we were gone. I'm going to make 23, 24, and 25 green, because that's the stem. Now, if you can figure this out, you are much better than I am. I wanted something more decorative on the top of this. I wanted, um, I wanted something that just kind of jumped out. Um, I tried little bows. So I made little silver bows to put on the top, but when I put them over on every one of them, it was overwhelming. So I'm not exactly sure. Think about it and put something on there that you think. It was just way too much for every one of them to have something on the top. Maybe a little something, I don't know. I thought it kind of needed something, but as a calendar, I'm happy with this. This is a boy's calendar, so I really don't want to get too frilly and girly on him either. So that was one reason that I just kind of left it alone like that. Now, and that one needs to be glued. Okay, so remember we have all this hangover. So I'm going to, now that everything's dry, I'm just gonna go along the edges and just trim up my paper. And I'll do that on each one of these that are on the outside, just to kind of give it a finished look. So that's pretty much all there was to it. This was unusual. <laughs> Some of it was easier than I thought. Some it was a little harder than I thought but I know that this is going to be a good tool for teaching what it is about Christmas. It gives you 25 days to let them know what the true meaning of Christmas is about. Plus they get some candy, can't beat that at all. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please go in and like it. If, you're, uh, if you like my crafts, you can always go in and subscribe, hit the follow button from um, Facebook, like and comment and tell me what you would have done to make this a little bit differently. And also remember I ask, what have you done with stuff you would have thrown away? Toilet paper rolls is something that always goes in the trash, but we were able to use it and make this adorable advent calendar. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you so much and I hope this works out so good for you. And remember, love one another. Bye.